I'm Annie Sloan and I'm delighted to tell you about the collaboration I've done with Redesign with Prima. It's a decor transfer and it's called Flower Garland. So this is my beautiful little prayer stool. I got it in a brocante in France because I'm always going to brocantes and I'm finding all sorts of beautiful things. I've had this for years and I've been doing drawings of it because I love it. And these are some of the drawings I've done and I've drew them and I've painted them and I've got, I've got loads of stuff that I've done from just this little prayer stool. I just love this whole design. You can see it, this is uh, an Italian villa. And you can see it here, this wonderful, it's always symmetrical. You often get this um, flower design, which is repeated in these lovely scroll designs. Um, here is a lovely book that uh, lots of patterns in here. And it's the same idea, something central um, and flowers. If I turn that round, you can see that's that same design that you get again and again. Um, so there I've got more in here. Um, they're all over. So that's similar design, the idea of that repeated flowers and scrolls. So I've got that and you now have that and you're able to do this design on a piece of furniture. How to use, what colours to use, what to do with it. So there are some instructions here or some ideas. In the packaging you get two designs, this one and this one. And there is also colours. So at the back here, there's something called Hue Harmony. And there are colours there that they recommend, I recommend rather, and we're recommending to you. You don't have to use them, but it's a great starting point. Um, so in the packaging, you get the two designs here. Um, you get the, to push it on with, the design. Um, you get a lovely welcome and you get instructions. So it's all here, ready for you to do, so get on with it. <laughs>
Um, one other important thing to remember is that as you prepare your um, transfer, you can reverse roll it to make it flatter and get it ready for the surface. Right, so we're ready to go. Um, as you can see, there's still the, the sheet behind the transfer because we want to have it while we will place it to protect it. But now we don't need it anymore because it needs to go on the surface. So very gently, we need to remove the back sheet from below, making sure you're not moving your piece. There we go. And now we are ready to get started. This is the tool that is included in the kit to um, press the transfer into the piece of furniture. So I'm going to get started here very gently. You rub it in. Don't worry about the separation with the drawers because we're going to take care of that later. If you are not sure that it's going in, then you can gently peel off and take a look at how things are going. I need to do it a little bit more here. There you go, it's starting to come off. So I'm gonna continue. It's a lot of patience, but the result is very pleasing. Okay, so this is the result that we get once we take the film off that you see here in my hands. Um, it laid out perfectly. Um, now there is still one step that we need to perform, which is to cut off the uh, pieces that overlap the, on, the, on the drawers. But we can do that with a, with a simple knife and then overlay the, those pieces within the border of the drawer. And then we're done and we can go to the next strip. All right, so we're done with the middle stripe. Um, I gave some thought on where I want to place the other two stripes and I decided that um, this one probably makes more sense to go at the bottom because it, it, it gives more harmony to the whole piece and then we're going to use this one here that you see, uh, for the top. So again place it with the uh, um, paint uh, safe tape. Now one thing to remember as you do that is that you want then to remove the film in the back and make sure that the piece is very, is, is, is um, really flat against the surface. So, this is important because there's the adhesive part in the back that needs to adhere to the surface. And now we're going to start the same process again. All right, we're approaching the end, so we have the third strip. Um, we have cut off the borders. Actually, we have removed the top borders and we cut the side borders, which we have already, I have already applied here. And uh, uh, we have the, um, the strip already placed with the tape. We have already removed the film. So at this point, we are ready to go and start rubbing. All right, so we are at the last stage. We have the transfer all laid out and we have to separate the transfer where the drawers cut are. So we're going to use a, um, a, a knife and uh, I'm going to simply go through like this. As you do that, just be careful to, uh, as you finish, to make sure that the edges of the transfer are well wrapped up around the edges of the drawer so that we, you stay in the continuity of the transfer. And that's it. Now we're going to look at a finish that we might apply in addition here, so stay with us. All right, so we're finished with the piece. We have put the hardware back on and now it's time to seal it. I'm going to use any Sloan clear wax all over it to seal it. Don't worry about rubbing because it's not going to hurt the transfer, but it's going to seal it and protect it. And then if needed, we can also use um, some black wax from some accents once we have done. 
completed with clear wax. And that's it, we're finished.